Well, hello, hello, hello there. We are back home in the garage. Bikes are still there. They had almost a month break. So I will be uh, giving them a start uh, just to make sure they are all going. But in the meantime, I am trying to dig out the uh, engraver engraver while I was away I did more research and more study and I have uh, found out a few things so uh, if I look in this engraver bit we need to do some adjustments in there all the setup is I think pretty fine I'll just need to um, do some fixing. So um, let's get to it. All right. So here is the thing what I found out. What the guys said online is that the part, the little hammer inside here is too heavy and also The spring, return spring in here, is um, too strong, which is, as you can see, it's pretty damn tight. So, I am going to follow what one gentleman told me, that this thing, this little hammer, needs to be much lighter. At the moment, if I get this little nifty handy scale, um, it says it's 11 grams so we will need to bring it down to uh, under 4 grams he he had, he was very specific he um, he made it 3.85 which I can't do here but um, I am going to uh, give it a go and uh, remove a couple of these segments and see uh, when we can make it lighter and also, I shall um, um, find an easier spring. Okay, so let's get to it, and I'm gonna chop some segments off. Alrighty, so um, let's see how many grams we. Uh, talking about now six grams all right well um I'll give it a go oops it's too hot we'll give it a go with the six grams and see uh, if it made any improvements let's see gotta try <laughs> so we have a few springs to try out um, I am um, going to try this wider one longer I have to snip it but we'll see how um, it will go We'll just give it a bit of a lube. I would take consider it a success, I suppose. 
I need to practice so much. There is a uh, quite a bit of a learning curve to this, uh, but at least we are engraving. Um, so um, it's quite good. <laughs> Let me tighten this up. And let's give it another go. I wish I could, um, I should probably draw something like. A little filigree or something. Kodos. Let's see if I can do something random like that. Um, uh, let's give it a go. Alrighty, yeah, that works so much better. I'm pretty sure I'll have to do a, a lot of practice with this and uh, a um, a little thing would be quite handy so I could rotate it nicer. But I don't know if you can see that. It's definitely cutting it. So um, I did some really nice streaks. It goes like in a butter into this aluminium. So I'll just have to get a vise, which I can, like a ball vise, where I can rotate it all over and maybe fine-tune it a little bit to the shorter hose and uh, that should help also um, but this might be a very short episode but I'm just I was just very anxious to give it a go and give it a try because uh, it uh, was bothering me for quite a while but yeah that sounds pretty good I'm quite happy with um, with what I've done and the um, machine seems to be working for a little while, so a um, couple more adjustments and um, I can start engraving, I suppose, or practicing, get a more alloy, get the get advice, and uh, I think I'm just going to order one online. Uh, I know some people were making it, but I think I can just get something uh, online and... Um, yeah, get to it. All right, thank you for watching this one. I'm uh, considering give at least a one bike to start so I can hear them. Maybe get the red one a go. And um, yeah, I'll call it a day for the day. All right, so thank you for watching. Uh, this was just a very short one, but it is what it is. And uh, well, that's a progress, isn't it? So um, yeah. Press the buttons, do what you do, and um, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. I haven't started this bike in almost three months since I tightened up the heads, so uh, it's gonna be interesting.
maybe not today. Just check the spark plugs and everything. Make sure everything is okay. Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, see ya.